Serena the Trap today asks, do you think we'll get Super Mario Odyssey 2 or Super Mario Galaxy 3? Why or why not? And I'm going to say, definitely. Um, Mario Odyssey did really well. I can't imagine them not doing another one. And I also feel like Mario Odyssey was kind of like their segue into wanting to do like another Mario Galaxy, but also trying to do it in a different light. Um, like I've been playing through Super Mario Galaxy 2. Well, I played like five hours of it yesterday. And a lot of people were like, wait, what? Odyssey wasn't the first game to do all of this? And I was like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> they basically just backpacked off of their ideas from Mario Galaxy 2 and brought them into Odyssey. Um, right. In a perfect world, I would see another Super Mario Galaxy 3 because that's what I really want. I'm very invested in those games. Uh, but that's that's my two cents. But I almost feel like Odyssey, from a development or real world standpoint, began as Galaxy 3, and then they just kept changing things. Eventually, they're like, it's just now its own thing. Yeah. But I almost feel like there's more value in not calling it Galaxy 3 and calling it Odyssey and moving away from the Galaxy name because. Honestly, for me, if I if this Mario game came out on Switch and it was like Super Mario Galaxy 3, I wouldn't buy it because I'd say, oh, well, I didn't play the first one. I didn't play the That's second one. That's true, actually. That's a and really good thought. Super chat banana. banana. Oh my gosh, Denny. Thank you for the banana. Oh, banana. I'm, I'm, I'm bananas. But yeah, no, I feel like there's a barrier, a barrier of entry there. If you just take that out, you literally just change the name. They could yeah. have no, everything be exactly the same, except the name was Galaxy 3, and I'd be like, nah, I guess I'm not getting it because I didn't do the other ones. But they just have it as Odyssey and its own thing, and I'm like, yeah, I'm on board. But Must I think Odyssey port did do one well and enough. two over. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. But yeah, I think Odyssey did do well enough that if they made it Odyssey two, I think most Switch owners probably have Odyssey or bought it. So I mean, I could see mm -hmm. it. Uh, I could see it doing well as long as it's released on the same platform, right? It just has to be on Switch. Yeah, exactly. I think that if they did an Odyssey two and like like the idea of doing the Super Mario Galaxy 3 and just naming that and naming it that in general. It's really hard though because in Super Mario Galaxy you see really specific elements like the Lumas and Rosalina and all mm -hmm. of those key characters. So to bring them into Odyssey and bring them into the Mario universe I think would be weird to kind of tie them in. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. like maybe do it similar to how they do it in Mario Galaxy 2 where you don't actually meet Rosalina right off the start and she's like sending letters to the Luma that's with you. But right. instead there could be like like wherever however you're navigating an odyssey you navigate to a galaxy and that's where you maybe encounter these other people it's true is this a crossover game but i love <laughs> i love odyssey so i love cappy and the whole capture mechanic and just an odyssey so so refined so well tuned so game. It's so magnificent and denny's calling me a liar in the chat because <laughs> he says i'd line that wouldn't buy it but the, he, here's the thing is i didn't buy galaxy one or two i haven't played them so where's the lie, Denny? <laughs> Genuinely. Because I do have, like, when there's a sequel game out, I feel an obligation. I'm like, I've got to play the first one before I do this. You know, I gotta, yeah. I, Nintendo yeah, so just... has an official HD remake of Mario Galaxy in China on what? Switch hardware. So, Hey, guys, I, uh, I got this text message. I won the lottery. It's totally not spam. <gasps> Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> so no. so um there is the interview a long time ago where Miyamoto said that they like were done making Galaxy Three. Like it was close to being released or something like that. Right? Mm -hmm. And then they said they were also close to being done with the next Pikmin game. <laughs> don't don't don't, uh, don't bring that up. But I think that ended up being Hey Pikmin, and uh, they changed Galaxy 3 to exist. Odyssey. And there is no other Pikmin games. Pikmin 3 <laughs> was, that was it. It was so good, and then they just... <laughs> I think uh, they were working... I think they could have been working on Odyssey DLC, because they are like, Oh wow, it sold so well, and Breath of the Wild DLC sold so well. But in the same way that they said Breath of the Wild 2 began mm -hmm. as DLC for the original Breath of the Wild, that they just had so many new ideas it turned into a new game. I think the same could have happened with Odyssey, to where, like, mm -hmm. maybe they did have DLC planned with Odyssey, but then they are like, well, this is all, like, so many new and different concepts and ideas that we're introducing to the game that we could just base an entirely new game off of these ideas. 
Right. So instead of getting DLC like we did for Breath of the Wild, we ended up getting some free DLC, like the Luigi mm-hmm. balloon thing. Um, but then the main DLC stuff was saved for Odyssey mm-hmm. 2. And hopefully it has multiplayer, like actual we'll multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be enough like, for I mean, me. You could even just have it like they're restricted to just being in the same kingdom. Those kingdoms are like contained enough that each, you know, you can have two people roam around there freely um, without, I, I don't see it being any issue except for like maybe sub areas. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Who has the final question? Is the final, what, why don't you pick one, Jesse? Uh, I'd take the, 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 I already picked one. And then I claim one of the um, the, 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 the super chat. Super, yeah, the super chat questions. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. I kept thinking Patreon, but it wasn't Patreon. No, not quite. Um, That's fine. Mailbag so is my take... time to shine, anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna dip this out of here. She Gus says, says knowing that you're gonna ask a question, no I'm more just gonna moons. go, I agree with Daniel. <laughs> no more moons. <laughs> did someone just fart in their microphone? Did anyone hear that? I did not. Was it just me laughing weirdly? Is that what it might have been? Oh no. <laughs> it definitely sounded like there was a fart. Rip. Anyways, sorry, what are we doing with the question? You're here? asking a Is- question? I am? Okay, I choose this one. AJ's question. He asked, did the Breath of the Wild originally have playable segments, not just memory cutscenes where you could play as the champions from the journey before becoming champion, and up until their demise against the Ganon Blights? Question for the mailbag. So, I don't think they did, but I wish they did. Be cool. Just give this a short little, short little thing be very cool but no I, d- I don't think they ever intended to include some uh, up segment where you play does the champions briefly because i think that kind of goes against the if, if you're having to isolate someone in like a small playable section like that kind of goes against the whole open air concept um there because you can't just like walk away from it if you want if that makes sense yeah, yeah exactly but... and also like with that like you pretty much always just play as Link. Like, I think it'd be really weird to just, like, leave Link mm. and go play as another character. Um, and that being said, like, if they did that, they'd probably have to run it, like, um, when you're doing, like, escort missions, for example. Like, Resident Evil 4 is basically one giant escort mission. <laughs> That's the escort <laughs> mission, the game. So, so whenever <laughs> you really swap is. over and you play as Ashley, um, I think that's how they'd probably do it, where it's like, oh, like, you're going into, like, a memory, and so you're going to play as the champion. So I think yeah. that'd be kind of like, like, you're playing as Ashley, you're lost, and you have no guns. Oh, it's the worst <laughs> part of the game, because I'm like, I want to shoot all of these guys. <laughs> I know! I have to throw a lamp at what run away. <laughs> oh no! But now that you mention it, honestly, that help, that is really just yeah. a big escort mission. I love that game, but <laughs> it's just one it's big one escort one. mission. It's everything I hate in a game, but everything I love in a game. They, but they do it so well that you don't even care. I would nope. say, Breath of the Wild. Every other game before Breath of the Wild had. Anytime they talked about something that happened in the past, it was like a weird, uh, well, I think like Phantom Hourglass, like one of the pirates uses a flash card or whatever to show you, and then Ocarina of Time, the Deku Tree tells you, and like, it's sort of a cutscene, but it's just like Ganondorf riding on a horse with a black background. They never actually show you what the world looked like. Um... Like, Wind Waker, they tell you about how Ganondorf came back to take over, but it's just, like, it looks like a cave art or whatever. And it kind of looks, yeah, tapestry. And then Skyward Sword, it looks like cave art. It never actually shows you with actual cutscenes of what the game looks like. Mm -hmm. Um, But Breath of the Wild is the first one that does that. 
I think Breath of the Wild could have done what other games did to where like instead of showing you with in-game graphics of what happened, it mm-hmm. just gives you the dialogue or the voiceover with the normal nonsense of like it being on tapestry or whatever and then no one would be asking well like why can't we play this part because then it would just Mm -hmm. be like a blank picture with the stuff um or it could have been what they intended for dlc because that's what everyone was asking for in the dlc was to play as um like what happened in the past but then we got more memory <laughs> yeah uh but we then we also got more super chats oh yeah oh it's true uh, Rin Rin. It says yeah. love you guys this is for your coronavirus survival fund twelve dollars <laughs> <laughs> thank you all right jesse it's it's up to you you got to go spend all of the money from this on toilet paper <laughs> yeah, it has to be done how much <laughs> toilet paper can we buy for twelve twelve dollars are we playing if you can find it yeah, double ply or triple ply <laughs> single ply do we just oh. fold the single ply and make double ply double minimum okay have to. Yeah. otherwise it's like wiping with sandpaper yeah it's not good but y'all need to invest in a bidet i don't personally have one <laughs> but <laughs> i don't have this but you should <laughs> <laughs> I sold that really well. <laughs> so, uh, Shoes, where can people find you? <laughs> if they wanna, if they wanna catch more from you and your uh, for, if goofy for some antics, reason. for some reason, if, if they wanna, if wants they wanna to... catch you in your bidet, <laughs> where can oh, they find? Oh no! You? Where, where can they find you in your bidet streaming? <laughs> You won't find any of that, but um, you can find me at Chublima with an extra A, so that's C-H-E-W-B-L-E-E-M-A-A at twitchtv.com, um, I think? Anyway. Twitch.tv slash Twitch. Twitch.tv um, ah. slash Chublima. Anyway, you can find me on Twitch, uh, you can find me on Instagram, I posted some pretty nice photos of my new Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch today. Um, you can find that on Twitter as well, at Chublima, and that's pretty much everywhere that I exist right now. Uh, stay tuned. As soon as Animal Crossing comes out, I'm probably going to live on stream for at least 72 hours, just, like, straight inhaling content of it. So, if you're bored and you don't have it, or if you're bored and you just like looking at my face, come hang out. You've been already li- living on stream the past couple days, anyway. Yep, yep, I definitely, I did, I did like, like 12 hours of stream in the last two days. <laughs> It's very good. Cool. All right, Daniel, where can we find you and your non bidet yeah. stream? Yeah, there will be no bidet <laughs> stream. Um, if you feel so inclined, uh, you can catch me on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram and uh, all of those, all of those platforms. At and my YouTube channel is also called. They all have the same name. It's Captain Bergerson. C A P T B U R. G E R S O N, like the captain. Captain is a burger. The burger had a child. That's me. So. Son uh, of burger. Son of burger. But I got a promotion. I'm the captain now. So, look at me. <laughs> I am the captain. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I stream on Twitch uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Um, though it's spring break next week, so I'm we're a little up in the air. I might just do have to do shorter streams than usual because usually I do stream four and a half hours but might, might be a little shorter those days but um, other than that every other Tuesday Wednesday come hang out on Twitch Denny here is is going to be there to keep you company <laughs> and, <laughs> no and there's, there's a there's a great old gang of burger gangsters that come and hang out and then <laughs> my YouTube channel I post the occasional video um mostly my most popular videos are the ones where i just like take a big dump on people's theories apparently so, <laughs> and this is why you need the bidet <laughs> and... <laughs> accurate oh that's true my three most my like three most popular videos are like my the problem with this theory videos and uh apparently people just eat that content up but they're also the only videos i get thumbs downs on as well so i love it salty people but um no, we, we have a good time, and it's just mostly either my archive streams or just 
whatever nonsense of a video I decide to put out at that time. But, um, otherwise, if you want pictures of my amiibos, my Instagram, <laughs> go look at that. So that's that's me. That's I definitely talked way too much about that. I wonder if Ewan makes a bidet though. <laughs> if Ewan, they they made these chairs. Do you think they all do it if we ask them? Clean your butt to, <laughs> to keep your bracing chair clean. Yeah, Ewan so bidet. I can stream and keep my butt clean. <laughs> oh, Jesse, tell us about you Jessie. so we can put so I can put Jessie. myself in my misery after this. Jesse. Well, I am Jesse. Everything uh, you can find me is uh, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Everything is slash Game Over Jesse. You can find link to the Discord in the description. And you can join it to chat and talk with all of us. What's going on? Someone sneezed really loud. Well. Was it your roommate? I think so. She right. said, bless you. <laughs> so. <laughs> you didn't uh, bless her. <laughs> please give Tubes and Daniel a follow. And uh, again, join the Discord if you want to stay in touch. And uh, be up to date whenever we do these streams and everything. Because we tell the Discord before we do anything. And uh, yeah. I guess that's that's everything. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Gus and Rin and Denny and everyone for watching. Yes. Do you guys have any Lovers. final words? Rin Rin says, love a clean stream. And unfortunately, I I regret to inform you that our streams are not that clean. He took so. a big dump all over it, so... <laughs> Their art streams are not that clean. <laughs> So if there's any youngers out here trying to catch my stream, I, I have no one but to say a bad word. So, and we talk about very mature things, and sometimes also actual mature things like taxes. So <laughs> it's a weird time. We have a great we have a great time. All right, that's well, all I got. Now. Thank you everyone for watching, and have a great Bye. night. We love you all.